It's me, Young. Hey guys, it's me, Young and Hamster. And today I will be telling you my five biggest hamster mistakes I've ever made. Um, this is um in regards to Aaron's five biggest hamster mistakes video. And I'm a new hamster uh channel, so I'd love for you guys to know my mistakes and not to make them. And we all make mistakes. So let me start off with my first mistake was. When I first got my hamster, <laughs> I think we all made this mistake. I was about around seven, and I didn't know that the minimum side was 360 square inches. So I got this like bar cage that was like this small, and I had a Roborowski dwarf hamster at the time, and every single night it chewed on the bars. I didn't know why, but I was like, whatever. As years went on, and around when I was like 10, I finally learned that I needed to get a bin cage or a bigger cage. So I decided to get, make a bin cage. In regards to everyone who's been saying in my comments that my cage is too small, I'll stop you right there. Um, first of all, I am just using it as a temporary cage. It's all, I'm trying to get supplies to make an IKEA cage at the moment, so... That's all, and Yama doesn't seem to be bothered by it. Okay, my second hamster mistake was that I used <laughs> wood shaving substrates. Yeah, I know, can it get any worse? So, around the time when I was seven, too, I used this, um, there was a, you know, bedding from Petco, and it was like wood shavings, and so I was like, it felt really hard on my skin. I mean, we sneeze, but I was like, it should be bad for the hamsters, because obviously it says hamster bedding. Well, after, like, the year, I, I started watching. My first channel I ever watched was Chocolate Colors 26, which I'll put the link in the description to her channel. And she said that you did, you should have really switched the bedding. So I switched to Carebrush or KT. They're both great beddings. I use paper bedding. No fluff, no fluff, that's gonna kill you. Um, or as I use Carebrush too, because Carebrush has the odor control and it works really good with my mice and my hamster. Okay, my third mistake I made was when I had that small cage, there's a tiny little wheel in there, not even small, big enough for a dwarf hamster, so every single time it spins, there's, there's like a little pole in the middle, like that. It's his back with arch, like that. And I was like, oh my god, I feel so bad for him. And so, when I got my new Syrian hamster, who recently passed away about four months ago, Fluffy, um, she he was a long, um, she was a long-haired Syrian, and so, um, I had I got an 11-inch wheel. And since she passed away, I give it to, to my two mice, my albino mice, who love it. So that's okay. My fourth hamster mistake I ever made. <laughs> I um never put them like I never took them out. Because I thought that they bit me or run away. And so after like watching Aaron's animals and watching Hoppy Hammy or PG Pet Paradise. I really learned that you should take them out, and I got way more used to it, and they inspired me to make this channel, so thanks everyone. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. And my fifth hamster mistake was that I yeah, I got a gerbil instead of a hamster. I was really dumb. I learned that I was a gerbil eventually. So, so thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And in the big comment section. Bye!